joining me. All right, we're gonna get this party started. So thanks again for joining me. It's Monday and it is 7.30 a.m. So it's time for Monday Morning Mojo. And I am so excited that you're here with me today. Um, so you guys, a little um, treat, I think, maybe a treat. I'm gonna share some thoughts with you from a journal that I have that goes back to 2017. And uh, there's some really good nuggets in here. I am working on, so stay tuned because I am working on a special uh, group coaching that I'm gonna offer in January. It's gonna be a really great way for you to kick off your year, shed whatever you are carrying with you from 2021 or maybe even 2020 and move into the new year with a whole new perspective on growth, personal goals, professional goals, mindset, time management, like really getting clear about what you need to do to have the life that you want. And so we're going to have more information to share with you on that very soon. Um, and it's basically going to be your opportunity to design the life that you've always dreamed about. So I'm really excited to do that with you and offer that special program. So uh, as I was working on some of that, over the weekend, I came across this um, journal and there's just so much in here that I wanted to share with you. So we're going to talk about how to create your own future and your life today based on your mindset and the energy you put into things. So if you're taking any notes, um, I would just write down that my life is really based on how I think and about the energy I bring into things, because all of the things that you're thinking are guiding you, whether you want to accept it, realize it, or understand that at any moment. So what you're projecting to the outside world is exactly what you're getting back. What you're projecting to the outside world is exactly what you're getting back. And so many of us are are entrepreneurs and working in our careers. And you know we're spending a lot of time and energy creating business plans and strategic plans, which are essential for our success. And yet, do we take the time to understand the power of our own thoughts, right? Because we can have the best laid out plan and, and we can have this blueprint for success. And yet, if we are not in um, alignment right, with our goals and our thoughts. And if we aren't working to master our mind, are we going to fall short? Are we really going to hit the goal at that level that we have really designed in our own mind? Is this an opportunity, right, to have this conversation this morning to think about what are some simple ways you can master your thoughts right now, starting this morning, and, and really into this week. Um, and so let's get into that. Let's take, let's take some time to really think about um, how we have some more people coming in. So let me let them in. Let's think about you know, how chaotic sometimes our thoughts can be. And let's figure out how we can stop the overwhelm. Is anybody like me and sometimes gets overwhelmed just by our own thoughts? Because sometimes those thoughts can be creative and they can be programmed towards the outcomes we're looking for. And we're, we're definitely, I think, never short of ideas, but yet are we able to always pause long enough to execute on them? So sometimes our thoughts can be a little bit chaotic. And I think that this is an opportunity to stop and think about what we want most, right? And so um, let's get into a couple of things that I wanted to share with you from my notes here. Okay, so I think it's also important that we acknowledge that fear is showing up in our lives whenever we allow our thoughts to move into something that is, is a little bit uh, negative or less than what we believe you know, is, is in store for us through whatever that divine plan is, right? And so I think that there are times we have to acknowledge that we can be programmed to think in terms of fear. Right. And what is fear really? There's a great acronym, false evidence appearing real, right? False evidence appearing real. Because if we took a moment and really got clear about these fearful thoughts, um, what is the possibility of any of it coming true? Probably zero to none, right? And so we have to acknowledge that when we try to work through the fear, 
uh, and we do it anyway, that, that not only does that empower us, but it shows our mind quickly that a lot of the thoughts we were programmed to have were not really supporting us. So it releases a little bit of that programming and conditioning. So I think that in business, especially, you know, I know some of us can be a lot more, um, averse to risk than others, but I think that we have to release the brakes every once in a while. And we have to say, you know, that we know that we have what we possess, we have the tools and we have uh, what we need to be successful already inside of us, right? And so how do we do that? We have to release this resistance, right? And sometimes we have to release any judgment or concern we might have over what other people might expect of us. And I think that we also have to be willing to look at how we sometimes make excuses around not being ready. So let's jump into that for a minute. So who's ever felt like, you know, I'm not ready for that next opportunity. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough fill in the blank, right? But yet you do because you all have this divine purpose and what you do right now, right? Whether it's a real estate agent, business owner, uh, artist, coach, uh, working uh, in your own uh, automotive industry, it doesn't matter, whatever it is, right? You have these gifts that are given to you and you have these natural abilities that over time you probably have developed a higher skill set over. And I think that we have to acknowledge that we have what it takes to do the things that we're here to do if we're clear about that first, right? So a lot of talk about purpose, a lot of books written about this, a lot of podcasts about this, right? Yet at the end of the day, I believe there is a plan for you. I believe that there is this bigger opportunity and purpose to step into. Um, I love, I don't know if any of you have read The Alchemist, but we're going to probably do something on The Alchemist soon. Um, and one of the things that really comes through as a theme in The Alchemist is that you have a personal legend. Everyone has a personal legend, which is their purpose, right? And you know this. You know it because when you start to act in your personal legend or as your personal legend, you start to act in your purpose, what starts to happen? How do you start to feel? You feel excited. You feel enthusiastic. Things might even come easier to you when you're working in that zone, in that space, right? So that's when you know that you're in that, that zone. And so you, you know, the, the feelings that you have when you're doing what you're doing are really important. Enthusiasm is really important. And when, when we start to tell ourselves a lot of lies, right? We start to tell ourselves that we're not ready, we're not enough, then we are, we are really, I think, getting in our own way of fulfilling that purpose. Right. So one of the biggest lies or excuses we make, uh, whether we say it this way or not, is this this whole sense of I'm not ready. So I would welcome any of your thoughts. Good morning. Talk to me. You know, I, I always love that you guys are here with me on Zoom. Uh, and if you want to, you know, say anything or share any ahas with me, I'd love that. Um, who can relate to this whole sense of, I tell myself, I make these excuses that I don't have what I need, or I'm not enough, or I'm not ready. And one day I'm going to do this. And, and then we're wasting a lot of time trying to get to this one day. Well, what if that one day could be today? Is this resonating with anyone? And it's a safe space to share. Erin, I see you shaking your head. I'm going to pick on you. Yeah, no, the, the one thing that I can relate it to is investing. <clears throat> and I always say, I don't feel like I have enough money to do it, so I don't do it. But if I would have started investing the little bit that I thought I had back when I had it, I would have made a difference by now. So I keep pushing it off saying, I don't have enough. It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to be enough to retire. It's this, it's that, it's that, instead of just doing it. Thanks for sharing. And so what are you thinking about that thought this morning? 
Well, I think honestly, well, first of all, it's one of those, you know, if you would have planted a tree, blah, 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 it would have been. But now, honestly, starting with what I have now doesn't mean that it won't increase in the future. So even if I'm starting now with something that I don't necessarily feel is enough, it's better than nothing, first of all. And second of all, it doesn't mean that next year it won't be more, the year after it won't be more. Yes, right. A hundred percent. I've said this before, the drop in the bucket doesn't look like a lot until the drops just keep filling the bucket. And then, you know, over time you turn around and suddenly, right, it was gradual, but then suddenly you have a full bucket. And so that certainly can apply to this. And I think that, you know, something else that I want to share this morning is, you know, you, it's about attracting opportunity, right? It's about attracting the right opportunity to you. And when we take action, and when we start to move in the direction of our goals and our dreams, we are creating that flow. And that's really what starts to make things happen. So if you're taking notes this morning, jot this down. The key to attracting what we want, the key to attracting what we want after you make a decision. So I will, I will challenge you, Aaron, and anyone else listening. You know, have you truly made the decision to start investing? Have you truly made a decision to say, yes, this is what I want? Um, and so once you make that decision, the key to attracting what you want is to release any resistance, right? So to, to go back to saying, you know, to stop saying I'm not ready or I don't have enough or it won't be, you know, it doesn't matter. It won't be enough. It, it is enough, right? And if we took action and started today on any of those goals, we would see how it is enough. So I really appreciate you sharing. Um, so when you release resistance, you become a magnet for the things you want, because the universe is here to support you, right? Or as Gabby Bernstein says in her book, the universe has your back. But it's true. We, I mean, we have been given this gift of life and we have this opportunity to participate in life at a, at a really high level. I mean, when you really think about the gift of life and how short it is, why would we waste a moment of our time? Why would we may waste a day, an hour, or any moment of our time worrying about the things that we want? Because I believe if you can see it in your mind, it's been implanted there for a reason, right? So now the, the universe is here to support you. There is an abundance of resources around you. There is an abundance of, of, of people, of uh, tools that can help you accomplish whatever you want, but it has to start in your own mind first. And so when you release this resistance, then you, bec you become a magnet for a greater opportunity. And then you see how the universe is there to support you. And suddenly your thoughts and your actions get into alignment and it's not magic, but you start to manifest, right? All these opportunities. I mean, there has to be a moment if you if you were to stop right now and think about a time in your life when this was true. Think about a time in your life when you really got in alignment with the things that you thought and did and it moved you in the direction of things that you wanted. And, and maybe you even thought to yourself, wow, look how lucky I've become. <laughs> it's not luck, right? It's just getting in the flow. And so that when you can accept that this is what you want and you accept that this is who you are, in that moment, you leave the resistance behind, you feel the support of the universe around you, and suddenly your enthusiasm increases, your desire for that goal increases, you get more open to possibility, you get more creative, and suddenly you are, or you are creating those actions. So there's this flow. There's this flow that has to happen when our mindset lines up and we start to create those those plans around us. So um, I was inspired. Yeah. Does anybody have something they want to share? Yeah, it's me, Barry. Hi, Barry. And good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's uh, good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, I have my coffee too. Am please. I speaking your language this morning? No, no. I mean, absolutely. I mean, we're on the same page and it's, it's basically when you choose to believe in yourself yes. and willing to jump in the deep end, how do you teach your child to swim? My parents, when I was a kid, they threw you in the pool because you had to swim because we lived near water. Gotcha. So you have to swim. So it's just making that choice. It's scary. Trust me. I know. It's extremely scary every time you want to make that next step, that leap forward. 
But again, once you choose to go through that window of opportunity, you're going to then, as you were saying, be a magnet for all this stuff to come into you. Yeah. And, and sometimes it pours in, sometimes it trickles in. And again, you're always in a, you're always in a space of, am I, you, sometimes you get overwhelmed. Um, listen, no matter how old you are, how young you are, you go through it all the time. All I can yes. say is if you're younger or any time, do it because you'll never know until you do it mm -hmm. and make the choice. So Barry, there's a couple of things that you said in, in that, uh, in the, in the last minute that were really some words that came out. One was trust, right? So I think that's a big part of this, you know, conversation this morning too, is to trust yourself, number one, that you will figure it out and that you will be able to accomplish whatever it is that that seed that's planted in your in your mind or in your heart and trust the universe to support you trust that things will start mm -hmm. to show up and line up. Um, and I think the the other thing I heard you say, you know, even though you didn't quite say it this way is the way that we talk to ourselves is huge, right? Because we can program our thoughts to be limiting and hold us back as much as we can program our thoughts to really empower us and move us forward, you know, and so how we talk to ourselves is everything. And, you know, right. I've said this before in, in Mojo, you know, there are, there are two words that are the most powerful wor words that you could ever say or think, and that is I am, because what comes after that starts to become a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So if you say, mm -hmm. I am capable, I am fearless, I am a money magnet, I am an opportunity magnet, that that's going to, and you have that belief behind it, that's going to start that, that momentum of energy, right? That the universe starts to bring things your way. And, and unfortunately, the opposite is true. When you tell yourself, I am not enough, I am waiting for, I am nervous, I am fearful, right? That, that is going to create an energy around you that will start to detract from what you want. So what you say to yourself is everything, right? And the other thing that I heard you say is that it's never too late, right? Life it's is short. It's never too late. I remember listening to one of Louise Hay's books, um, and I bet you the notes are even in this journal. I, am, I might be creating miracles in your own life. And she talked about how she was a late bloomer. And I just love that because if you know Louise Hay, you know, she, she was an amazing author and thought leader and spiritual leader. And, you know, I really admired her for many, many years and learned a lot from her and just looked at her as this guru. And then to hear her say, I didn't have my shit together, people. I was a late bloomer. I figured this out like much later in life. It was inspiring to me because it doesn't matter. It's start right now. And so whatever small change you can make in your thinking today, Day is going to be that drip in the bucket. It is going to be what helps you move forward. Uh, listening to your own voice um, is something that you're doing all day long, whether you are aware of it or not, you're listening all day. So what is that voice saying to you? Go ahead, Barry. I see you want to say something else. But also, yeah, to um, one, make the choice, trust in yourself, but then also surround yourself with people that you are admiring or looking up to. Go for that energy, whether it's in a book, in your circle of friends, at 100%. work. Find out who is inspiring you, what, who's making you feel your best, and gravitate to that energy. Use their energy to fuel yourself. A hundred percent. That that was another reason why I started this group, right? Because I think that if whatever you seek, you will find. Right. And so there's mm -hmm. enough negativity. There's enough confusion in the world, especially when I started this group in May of 2020. Uh, and I wanted to create a platform. This was always a vision I had too. I wanted to create a platform and just be a facilitator of 
good conversations like this, right? To be a facilitator of like-minded people who were seeking something more and who wanted to level up in their life. And I think that, you know, what Barry's saying is, is huge. So being a part of a group like this, paying attention to the books you read, um, seeking out newer connections and expanding your circle and your network. Um, you know, my business partner and I, Rosemary, we're starting a mastermind group with some high level women entrepreneurs uh, in about two weeks. And for us, you know, it's about looking at people who are, you know, whether you want to say more successful, it's, it's, you know, looking for people who are successful in different ways, because I think we're all successful in our own right. But yet, can you, can you learn from someone who's done something different, who's done something on a bigger level, whether it's business or, uh, whether it's something more philanthropic, you know, that's what I'm seeking out. So it's about being intentional on your growth and knowing that the people around you have a huge impact on that. So, you know, that, those are all things that program your mind too. And, and so it's about being intentional about what is that programming, right? And uh, uh, so kind of similar to Maybe it's changed a lot now over the last few years, but I can remember, you know, TV, right? And programming in TV or radio. Uh, and it, it, there was a certain channel you went to for a certain type of programming, right? And so you have to think about that with your mind. What channels are you plugging into? What programming are you getting in return, right? So Barry, that, that was awesome. So uh, this morning, it is really about taking a minute, and I'm going to challenge all of you to do that when you're, when you're done, you know, watching this mojo, take a moment right now and ask yourself uh, a couple of questions. And here are the questions I'm going to give you to ask. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you at that moment to pause and say, what is going on in my mind this morning? What have some of my thoughts been this morning from when I got up? you know, until just now, what am I programming myself to think right now? And if it's anything less than abundance, if it's anything less than empowering, if it's anything less than looking at choice and possibility and opportunity, then I'm going to tell you right then and there to reprogram. And it's that simple. It, you can change your thoughts in a, in a moment. And that one small thought can reprogram your entire day. So give yourself that gift and, and reprogram if necessary at that moment and put in another thought. Create your ideal day in your mind first, right? So that would be the next thing I would ask you is what is your goal today? Don't, don't get wrapped up in the whole week. Don't get wrapped up in the month or the quarter. Just ask yourself, what is your intention for today? Is it about accomplishing something specific? Okay. Could it also be about the way you want to feel today? I think that's something that a lot of us don't put a lot of time or energy around. How do you want to feel doing what you're doing? Because remember that enthusiasm, that joy, when you're feeling that you're in your zone, you're in your purpose zone. And if you're feeling anything less than that, it's speaking to you, right? That's, that, that's not alignment. It's feeling like friction. So what is it that you really, how do you want to feel doing what you're doing today? Okay. And so then you have to make a decision. Where does that activity show up on your calendar? Whatever it is that you need to get done today, where does it need to show up? You need space. You need time to be able to accomplish it. Right. And so it is really about knowing that you can create the type of day, the moment, the, the week that you want by starting up here first. By thinking, but it's also in terms not. Of, go, ahead. go ahead. I was, saying, I was just going to say, I mean, it's an of, old adage we've, we've spoken about is for each day, it's not what, what you get to, um, oh my God, I have to do all this. I got this pile of crap here, this there, whatever. But what do you get to do? Choose yes, to Barry, you do. are all, you're on it today. It is about what do I get to do? Because you know, I think that's another thing that just it just I, I, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I've been coaching people for um 12 years, and I sometimes have this 
almost out of body experience, right? Where I'm working with this person and then I'm kind of watching this whole thing around me. And I've often observed that pe some people are living life like they're in some sort of bondage and they're living life oppressed, right? And it starts up here. And I'm just gonna say, if you take one thing away from this morning, it's, it's to, to give yourself permission to see life in a different way. Give yourself permission to see life in a different way. Give yourself permission to see life as nothing short of a gift, a blessing and an opportunity. And that life is beautiful. Even the challenges are here to teach you something, right? Stop mm -hmm. looking at life as a burden. Stop looking at life and I say, you know, but, or, or any part of your job or any part of your day as a burden or as an obligation or as a chore, or as something that is difficult. And if you really are finding that you're spending a lot of your time doing things that make you feel that way, well, people, listen, you are not a tree. Get up and move, right? You, you, you don't have roots that deep in anything that you can't make a decision to change your life. If you're in a job that is not serving you, think about that. If you're in a relationship that is truly not serving you, what's the opportunity there? If, if where you live is not where you want to be, think about that. Real estate's hot right now. I can connect you to a great realtor. Uh, so it's just, it's just getting clear about what is, is really serving you and what is putting you in alignment with the life you want to design. So if you're feeling like life is really a burden, then we, that's just speaking to you about where the changes need to be. I would also add in there too. Um, I have to do. I have, I have to do these things every day to keep up and going. But to breathe, yeah, take a second and actually breathe. Because when you do look at what you're doing, you're not breathing. You're so shallow. You're almost struggling. But when you stop and just focus for a second and take a deep, deep breath it gives you that moment to refocus and how can you then redirect your Great. energy? So I actually have, you know, my, my watch uh, and I have an app on my phone that will remind me to breathe throughout the day. And some of you have it too, and you don't pay any attention to it. Um, and I think that taking a moment to do that mm -hmm. is imperative. It will reset your emotions, it will reset your thinking. And just some deep breathing in and out through your nose three times can do so much to reset your nervous system. And so if Before you're you respond like you're to anxious, somebody, what's that? Whenever you're in a, let's say a, an uncomfortable situation, you're in a, on the verge of an argument, take a breath first. Before you <laughs> I answer. love that. Take but, a breath first and it'll just clear. It'll definitely make the, the next moment easier. Wise words from a happily married man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've learned that too. So I trust that you've gotten something out of this morning that you needed. And I trust that this is always a great opportunity for you to have that that moment to pause and to think about your intentions for the week. Um, I would love for you all to take a second and share whatever your takeaways were on the Facebook page. I love that. The encouragement means a lot to me to know that this is something that you find value in. So please feel free to do that. And um, I just want to, first of all, thank my, my guest star this morning, Barry Becker. He was amazing. Thank you for all of your words of wisdom and sharing. Um, I think what you had to say was, was really important and I love you and appreciate you. And um, I am going to be sharing more information very soon about this um, uh, course that I'm going to be teaching in January. It's going to be in the evening. So uh, there'll be more information coming out about that. Um, and the theme is really your life by design. And I think that it will give you some of the tools that you want most to be able to have an amazing and productive year in 2022, a year that is fulfilling and a year that perhaps can, can change things in such a way that you almost see your life is unrecognizable. And I know that sounds like a big uh, goal, but I know it's true because uh, we, can, we can do that together. So any final thoughts before I sign off this morning? Thank you all for joining me. Again, remember to share. If you find value in this group, please share it with other people. I'd love to see the community grow. 
Um, Barry, again, thank you for your thoughts this morning and Aaron for sharing. Anybody else have anything they want to say? Well, thanks again for being here. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you back here next Monday, everybody.